Hello everyone. My name is Jack Lee, aka KK Bing. I am a FPV pilot and also a DIY enthusiast. I made a lot of DIY projects, for example, the transmitter and the, the ERS receiver. I found an update in the Express ERS project. It's called the ESP32C3 receiver. It's a DIY project, so I bought a ESP32 Super Mini module and uh, made a receiver out of it. This is the original Express IRS receiver and uh, the LoRa module in this receiver is relative. It's relatively expensive, so I decided to replace the module with the E28 from eBytes. The old RX project, there are some SMD parts, for example, the capacitor, the UFL antenna, and uh, the LED, which are super tiny. And it's uh, difficult to solder. With the new project, the ESP32C3 module and the E28 module, there are no external SMD parts needed. This is a prototype I handmade myself. No SMD parts, just uh, wiring the two modules. So one thing to remember is that the E28 module, the old module, there is a PCB antenna and we need to remove the resistor. But with the new E28 module, the e byte has removed the PCB antenna. So if you buy a new module, my recommendation is get the one without the PCB antenna. So there's no need to remove the resistor. There are a few advantages. First of all, it has every ED built in. And secondly, it has a type C which is uh, very easy to update and flash the firmware. So my recommendation is just to get the C3 module instead of the old uh, ESP01F. For the flashing, you can either use VS Code or use the web flasher. So next step, I will show you how to flash the firmware to the DIY receiver using uh, ExpressRS web flasher. First of all, the provider is the Backyard RC. Uh, we do not have the generic target yet, so I will use the, this backyard RC to flash and uh, reconfigure it as from a PWM receiver to a series receiver. Uh, just get the binding phase and uh, flashing using theory UART, which it has a USB built in. Just receive it, flash full chip erase and flash after a few seconds the firmware will update it to the receiver and the, the next steps is to reconfigure the flash via uh, Wi-Fi so as a normal configuration just connect the Wi-Fi to the receiver and reconfigure the channel 5 and 6 from the PWM to series receiver and another thing to change is the LED pin. For the original target, it used the RGB LED, but uh, the development mode only have a single LED, so I need to, we need to reconfigure it as a single LED and uh, remember to check the inverted because the... And we're done. Let's test the receiver when we connect to the FC, we can see all the channel mapped it to the flight controller correctly. So to sum up, there are a few advantages. First of all, it has a Type-C building. Second of all, it has a large memory and uh, fast computing speed comparing to the old ESP module. And it has no SMD part you need to solder. It's very easy to build. Just get the E28 module and the ESP32C3 Super Mini module. So for RMB, it's only it's only 22 RMB, so about three bucks. 
of course it's uh, bigger than the original receiver but um, it's fun to build so thanks for your watching and see you next time bye